loves Easter. It was at Easter time and Peppa and her friends were busy making bonnets at playgroup. My bonnet has eggs, flowers, feather and a chocolate muddy puddle, Peppa said proudly. Mine has lots and lots of carrots on it, said Rebecca Rabbit. What wonderful bonnets, children, cried Madame Gazelle. Well done. After the children put on their bonnets, Madame Gazelle said, This Easter, Miss Rabbit has an exciting surprise for you all. Is it an Easter egg hunt? asked Peppa. Not exactly, replied Madame Gazelle, but there are some eggs. Is it an Easter bonnet competition? asked Mandy Mouse. Mine is made of cheese. No, not this year, replied Madame Gazelle, but you can wear your lovely Easter bonnets if you like. Yippee, cried Mandy. What is the Easter surprise, Madame Gazelle? asked Peppa. Miss Rabbit has organised an Easter extravaganza for everyone, said Madame Gazelle. Ooh, gasped the children. But what is an Easter extravaganza, Madame Gazelle? asked Peppa. You will find out very soon, Peppa, said Madame Gazelle. I will be taking you to the Easter extravaganza after playgroup. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to help too. Hooray, cheered Peppa and her friends. By the end of the day, all the children were very excited. Make sure you take one of these, said Madame Gazelle, giving them each a little basket to carry. You'll need them for the Easter extravaganza. Thank you, Madame Gazelle, cried the children. Are you all ready for Miss Rabbit's Easter extravaganza, asked Mummy Pig. Yes, cried the children running down the hill. When they reached the bottom, Peppa, George and their friends spotted a sign with a cupcake on it. Oh, I wonder what that is, said Daddy Pig in a mysterious voice. Shall we follow it? Yes, please, everyone cheered. The children followed the sign to a stall where they could decorate. Easter cakes, gasped Peppa. Yummy, said Daddy Pig. Everyone had fun decorating the cupcakes, and then they put them in their baskets. But where is Miss Rabbit? asked Peppa. She looked around and spotted the sign with an Easter card on it. It must be a trail, she said. The children followed the trail until they found lots of lovely Easter cards to make. When they finished the cards, they put them in their baskets. Miss Rabbit isn't here, said Edmund Elephant. Perhaps we should follow that sign with an egg cup on it. The children followed the trail to an egg cup decorating area. Then they followed some flower signs to a little meadow full of colourful spring flowers. They're so pretty, gasped Peppa. I still can't see Miss Rabbit, said Mandy, but that sign over there has a little chick on it. Let's go. The children followed the trail until they found Granny and Grandpa Pig and their adorable little chicks. Ah, cried the children, they're so fluffy and so cute, said Peppa. Hello, Peppa, said Granny and Grandpa Pig. Are you enjoying Miss Rabbit's Easter extravaganza? Hello, Granny and Grandpa, said Peppa. Yes, there are so many amazing things to see and do. After she had petted every cute little chick, Peppa looked around. There's a sign with a very big Easter egg on it, she cried. This way. Peppa and her friends continued along the trail until... Wow, said the children, spotted the most enormous egg they had ever seen. What's inside? Peppa gasped. The children tried to guess what might be inside the enormous egg. I think it's a really big carrot, said Rebecca. Dinosaur, grrr, roared George. It's an alien from Mars, said Danny Dog. Suddenly, there was a loud crack and out hatched Miss Rabbit. Surprise, she cried, popping out of the giant egg with treats for everyone. I hope you enjoyed my Easter extravaganza. It was excellent, Daddy Pig chuckled. It certainly was, added Mummy Pig. Everyone thanked Miss Rabbit for their yummy treats and for her fantastic Easter extravaganza. Happy Easter, Miss Rabbit, cheered Peppa and her friends. Happy Easter, children, said Miss Rabbit. Peppa loves Easter. Everyone loves Easter.